The same P3 contractors and private consultants responsible for the Ottawa LRT are also responsible for the Eglinton Crosstown P3. The Auditor General warned of deficient designs and missed deadlines. There are already signs that the problems experienced with the Ottawa LRT could happen with the Eglinton Crosstown P3. Metrolinx keeps announcing more delays and keeps paying more money to the P3 contractor. They recently announced yet another one-year delay, which both the Minister and Metrolinx have refused to explain. Clearly, something has once again gone wrong with the Eglinton Crosstown P3. What is the Ministry and the Metrolinx hiding? Minister of Infrastructure. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Transportation has been very clear that she is doing everything she absolutely can to make sure that we can get the Eglinton Crosstown running as quickly as possible. But, Mr. Speaker, our P3 history in the province of Ontario is a wonderful one. We have brought to life 74 projects since the inception of Infrastructure Ontario. Since our government was elected, we brought 24 projects to market, 15 of which are currently in construction. Mr. Speaker, we were elected on a strong mandate to build this province, mm -hmm. and that's what we will do. 